All right, the day has come. The day has come to open up my new package here. This package has been long awaited, five years, no, not really, but these have been invented five years ago. And I have just now decided that I'm gonna support it and skate this way and begin my new life on Wizard Frames. These are Wizard Frames, NR110s with Sebo wheels, created by Leon Bastin himself, wizardskating.com, shoptask.com, big shout outs to everybody in the blading community. Now let's open, let's open this box up and see what we got here, shall we? You guys here on YouTube got a special delivery here as well. So without further ado, let's unbox this stuff. Oh, I'm live streaming this right now. That's, that's what that is about. Um, yep, open this up here. These frames is a full flat setup. Big wheels rocking 110, 110 millimeters circumference. And these are gonna allow for such a different perspective on my skating. This is gonna allow me to evol evolve my skate progression for the next lifetime. Allow me to be more maneuverable on my skates and just enjoy the new here. Whoa, wow. So these are them. Unbox. Tons of shop task stickers to come with it. I a little backstory here. I met Leon Bassin probably around the year 2000. I want to say 2006. 2007, maybe around then, um, through a friend of mine, Chris Savage. We were skating in Mississauga one night, and then he's like, yo, my buddy Leon is here from Israel. He hasn't been here that long. And he came out to skate with us and just destroyed everything that he skated. One trick specifically, what up, Alden? One trick specifically that he did that I remember to this day was on this curved ledge. He went true spin macchio to in spin sweat stance. 180 out on a curve leg. I was just like blown, my mind was blown. So anyways, looking at these badass frames here. What did we come here? We got tons of stickers. And on the back of the stickers he says, thanks for supporting. Year of the rollerblader. <laughs> That's true. Year of the rollerblader. Not lots. What's up? Need a camera like yours? What up, Jeff Geb? You need a camera like mine? What do you mean, bro? My camera? Right, what else do we got here? Got some more unboxing here to do as they come off in these frames here. Very interesting. I'm gonna put these on my Seba SX that have been gutted with intuition liners. Whoa, my gosh. These are phenomenal. Wow. Check out these frames right here. Check out these frames. Woof. These are just magnificent. These are magnificent. Wow. Now I did buy... What? How come these wheels rub? That's a little weird, eh? So what I'm noticing here is right out the box is that these wheels are actually kind of rubbing 
I guess because they're not worn down yet, but they're they're touching here. Kind of making it feel like got a little thing for the front there. You know what? I'm really impressed with the integrity of these frames. Really neat, so. I mean, these things will last a lifetime. I love the I love the design of these. Super excited to get these on my skates now. And to see how they ride. You can see the wizard, they came with the Seba 85 millimeter wheels. So I'm just getting my skates, um, am I focused? I'm just getting my skates ready here. Um, I just took off one of the wish frames that I had on here before. On my Sebas, I haven't really rode these in a while. If anybody wants to buy these, I'll sell them to them. Um, so now I basically have my Seba boot here, gutted, and I'm gonna try and get these wizard frames here connected. So this is the front. Just gonna go on there like that. Oh, these are gonna these are gonna be sick. Wow. Okay, so what I need to do here is take out one of these wheels. Gotta take out a wheel. Worth it. So worth it. Do, you, do uh, any of you guys rollerblade? Wheel out. Take this wheel out over here as well. Oh yeah, it's my skate frame. Um, okay. So he gave me some new hardware to use here. I've got four washers and four UFS bolts. So this is gonna go on here like that. Where should I put the washer? On the inside of the frame. Okay, let's figure this out here. Put this on like this. This is simply going to screw in there as long as it goes in the right way. It always makes me kind of nervous putting in bolts on the UFS because I think this specific, specific version I had almost stripped. I just hate being, I just hate stripping bolts on skates because it's a pain to go through and fix that. I think I just put this on backwards. On top of it I just put these on backwards. That's annoying. It's okay. We're going to fix that issue here. Was it paying attention, obviously? This is the front.
Nice timing for these frames in my life. And now that these are going on, never have to take them off again. Oh, baby. Nice. All right, got one on. It's all part of the struggle. I know, bro. The struggle is real. I think they were supposed to be rockered. Alright. Pretty good. pretty easy. Pretty easy. We got one together. And that's the setup. Just gotta put the liners back in. But these are sick. Thing is though, why doesn't this wheel wanna move? Huh? This is part of the struggle, man, for sure, because now this wheel. I want to move now that I put it in there. What the hell? So That's the part I'm not liking right now. Why are these wheels so tight that they don't want to go through? They don't want to. The fuck? So weird. Okay, well they fit good. I just need to figure out why that wheel is not spinning as I put it on the frame. You'll notice even on these ones, like I spin this wheel and then th that one spins. This one. Probably because this frame is supposed to be rocked with smaller wheels. Anyways, let's try and fit this other one on here. Let's fast forward the process. Because that's all we can freaking do. You know? Yo, what up, Rays? I've always wanted them, and now that I'm single, I'm doing it. Yeah, man. Get those dreads while you're single and it's gonna attract the women in your life that actually love it. And never let nobody tell you that you can't have a hairstyle that you that you prefer. Cause I've heard of I've heard of spouses and girlfriends being like, yo, you can't have locks. I'm not gonna date you if you have that hair, so it's like. Goodbye! You're not here. You're not wanted here, anyways. Then, it's like my hair, my choice. <laughs> taking off. Oh. Taking off the UFS bolts. More to go here. Luckily, these ones came out pretty easy. Luckily, that came out pretty easy. No issues there. Putting back together these wish frames. That old 
shitty UFS bolt over there. This stream turned into an unbox and setup video rather quick. I must say. Nice. Is it is your name Jeb? Geb? How do I pronounce that? Like fed. Like fed up? Geb. God in Egypt. What? What was he the God of? Yes, he's a God named Marcus like Garvey. Oh. You're full of all sorts of surprises, bro. See this once I put the wheel in now, it's like I don't want to roll for some reason. Why am I having this issue? The second I put this wheel back in, it does not want to roll at all. I don't understand why this is a problem here with this frame right now. Look at it, people. The second I put the wheel back in, it's, it's seized. Like, what's up with that? Shows me that these wheels are too big. It's kind of annoying that I'm facing this issue right now. That is stripped. This is the one that is stripped and is being annoying. So I'm going to use a hardware that is also stripped. Come on, man. For the wheels, these here are, are Seba Speed 110 millimeter with ABEC 9 bearings in there. All right, so 
I got one skate. I got one skate put together. I'm loving the length on these frames here. They really fill out my boot. And I ride a size 11, so they fill out really nice. All right, so after some headaches, I finally got them mounted. Good to know. Um, Blade Wizards on Facebook group really helped out here. They uh, let me know that because of my UFS belt that was stripped in the boot, not the one going in, but the receiver, it would only allow my bolt to go in halfway. So what I ended up doing was a suggestion from a man on the group where he said, instead of putting the bolt in this way, I put it in from inside the boot to re-thread. I re-threaded it the same way by just putting the screw in from inside, forcing it in and taking it out, and then putting it back up this way, and it worked. So, good little trick tip there. And uh, that would have been uh, Andrew now, uh, Nowakowski that helped out there. So thanks for that, man.